This week in Red Dead Online, we're getting rewards on bounty hunter missions, including an extra bonus for loyal long-term players, which is new, and some cool discounts on clothing and other items. Stick around, we'll check it all out. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here, and thanks for checking out this week's weekly drip feed video for Red Dead Online, brought to you by Rockstar. This week we are getting a little bit of updates, uh, well, a little bit of drip feed content and stuff for the Bounty Hunter role. Now, we've had some stuff for the Bounty Hunter role before, and I thought they were cycling through a whole bunch of stuff, but we're already back to getting recycled bonuses. And it's not even as great as it was before, unfortunately. We have Red Dead Bounty Hunter rewards, bonuses, and more. Now, the more is good, especially for long-term players or loyal players that have been playing forever. Uh, we have Headhunters, or higher guns, step up. Successfully complete any legendary bounty mission result in a 50% boost on your Red Dead cash and roll XP. So, if you're looking to rank up, that's good. I wish they would give us full rewards on this stuff. And I don't know why they went back to the percentage. For the longest time, we were having the, the same type of meta as far as GTA, where it was two times or three times. 50% boost is two times, I'm pretty sure, right? Or is that 100% boost? Yeah, that is. See, my math is going crazy again because they went back to percentage, which is ridiculous. 50% boost on your cash. So uh, normally, if you get a payout of $100, you'll get a payout of $150. Yeah, so it's not that great. It's like 0.5, right? Am my math doing good there? Am I thinking correctly early this morning? I think possibly. So not good at all. And it's only on cash and roll XP. So if you are fully ranked up in the Bounty Hunter role, you will only be getting a boost on the cash you get. Now, Legendaries are pretty fun. I did do it on stream last night. Had a bit of a hard time. Haven't played this game in a while. Did the Red Bed Clemson Train one. I think it was level four. Had three bounties to pick up. It was a lot of fun. Did it by myself. Didn't die. Can't die. But uh, definitely didn't do it perfectly. But, hey, it was a lot of fun. We also have newcomers who get the Bounty Hunter license to become a Bounty Hunter between July 14th and July 27th. Well, between July 14th and the 27th. So that's a two-week period, which I don't like seeing two-week periods in Newswires because that leads to uh, we definitely aren't getting an update next week. We may not see any new bonuses next week, although this just does say that if you do get the Bounty Hunter license between the next two weeks, you will get a $200 reward. Plus, Bounty Hunters who rank up will get an extra $100. So... If you're not a bounty hunter right now and you get the bounty hunter license in the next two weeks and you rank up one time, uh, you will get $300 bonus, which if you're not a bounty hunter, you probably don't have much money anyway. So uh, that $300 might help you out. Uh, if you are a bounty hunter already and you're not fully ranked up, the next time you do rank up in the bounty hunter role, you will get an extra $100, which can get you a little bit of ammo. Not much at all. Here's the big bonus for veterans. Now, at least they're giving us something, right? At least it's not just roll XP on legendaries, some extra cash for ranking up the roll, and they leave us just hanging high and dry. It's not much, but it's something. So at least they're looking into giving high-ranked and fully, fully ranked out players something extra. So it does say veterans who already have maxed out their bounty hunter ranking will receive a treasure map and 10 sticks of volatile dynamite. So at least we get something. Now we don't get any cash, which I mean a couple hundred dollars isn't much anyway. If you've already ranked it up, you probably make way more than that. But we do get a treasure map and 10 sticks of volatile dynamite. It doesn't say that you have to be in the game for 24 hours but usually is how that does that it doesn't say you have to do any bounty hunter stuff so we'll have to watch for that maybe it works after you do a bounty mission but if you're just fully ranked you should just get yourself a bounty 
or a uh, treasure map and 10 sticks of volatile dynamite. I do not have it yet today. Of course, this stuff just came out, and uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But that's it. That's our big bonuses for the week. Not that much at all. Not very much indeed. <laughs> we get extra payout and roll XP for just for legendaries. Just for legendaries. Not even for regular bounties. We also get, uh, if you're brand new to the bounty hunter roll, or if you're not fully ranked up, you get a little bit of cash. And if you're fully ranked up, you get a treasure map, which usually, I mean, it could be only worth 40 bucks and uh, a gold bar up to, you know, at the high range, 150 bucks and like uh, close to two gold or three gold bars. I think I've gotten some pretty good ones like that. So we'll have to see how good our treasure map is. Hopefully we get lucked out and we get something good. Other than that, all we have is some discounts, no free items, no free haircuts like last week, unfortunately. We do have some discounts and they all are pretty easy because they're all just 40% off, which isn't the greatest, but it is a little bit of savings if you're looking to buy some of these things. If you are eyeing a couple of things in the Wheeler Runson and Co. catalog, they say, might be recommend, might we recommend taking advantage of the my rate of discounts on offer? You know, like they're they're fantastic. We have 40% off all single and double bandoliers. I might go take a look at some of those too, because I was talking to some people on chat on stream last night, and they seem to possibly fit a little better. I remember when they first came out, we all were super excited, and they looked like crap when they put them on. So I might have to go check those out. Might have to, I have I own a few. I might throw a couple on there and see how they work. If they fit a little better, maybe I'll buy a couple of them. You know, and we'll 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 t we'll get a really outlaw looking character outfit going. Maybe we'll have to have some type of fashion show down the road here soon with your like meanest looking character outfit because we haven't done that in quite a while. That'd be a lot of fun. There's also 40% off sniper rifles. If you don't own all of those yet, you can go ahead and spend your money on that. Machetes, which is good. It's always good to use a machete to, to go into a big old battle and just, you know, cut everyone's freaking head off. We got skirts, chaps, half chaps, and select winter coats. There is quite a lot. Looks like there's about 12. We got the leather duster, the bison duster coat, the tempest coat, the sheep's wool jacket, the Hagen coat, the Torana coat, Dunaway coat, Ballard jacket, Dunham coat, Finley jacket, Clinch jacket, and the Riggs fringe coat. I mean, I am I am wearing I think the Dunaway jacket right now or coat possibly, or the the Durham one of those two. I'm pretty sure, but winter style coats. I'm not sure why. I mean, it is summertime. Usually in the summertime, all the winter clothes goes on sale. Right? It is a little late. Usually that happens around springtime. I guess they're getting us ranked or ready for when winter comes here in a couple months. Maybe that's when the next update's coming. They want us to buy a bunch of clothes when the next update comes. Maybe there's some kind of roll happening up in the snow. Probably not, but we can we can hope something's happening, right? So that's all we got this week, Cowpoke. Not much, man. Not much at all. We got 40% off a few things in the Wheeler Ransom Co. catalog. Bunch of coats. We have... Some free cash if you are not fully ranked up in the Bounty Hunter role or if you're brand new to it, which I believe if you just got it yesterday, you're kind of screwed on the $200 reward. I mean, you probably have to buy it, you have to buy it today through the 27th to get the $200, rank up one time to get the $100. If you are fully ranked up already, you get a free treasure map and some Volatov Dynamite. One other thing this week we do, of course, have a new weekly collection. Make sure to check out the link in the description for the John, John Ropke collector map so you can go find that stuff all the way. If you're not fully ranked up in the collector, it is a great way to get some XP because you can get that stuff pretty quickly every single day and get a thousand XP for selling that set. It is called the Whiskey Collection. We just picked up our last one here in the video. Uh, it is the three whiskeys. I thought I had them pulled up here real quick. Where are they at real fast? They are the Irish Whiskey, the Scotch Whiskey, and the Tennessee whiskey. Three whiskey bottles. Every day you can pick those up, sell them for $65, as well as get a thousand XP, uh, plus I think a thousand roll XP or something close to that. So it's really easy to rank up in the collector roll by selling collections. So make sure you use that map link down in the description to get that and uh, check it out because it's amazing. 
I don't know what we're going to do this next week uh, if we're going to get a new bonus push because we do have the Bounty Hunter stuff going through the 27th. So uh, hopefully they still give us some great stuff next week and just continue that. Definitely not get an update next week if they got that bonus going through. Maybe we'll go into August and get an update because, man, I know everyone's been counting. There's, we have a lot of great people in the community that have been grinding this game like crazy and, and getting huge, huge amount of time on their their daily streak. I mean, in the hundreds, I got one great community member in support of the channel. It's getting close to 500. So everyone's been counting their daily streaks. And right now we're counting our, our daily, our daily non update streak. Right. And we're getting into the mid two hundreds right now. I think last week I reported it was like two Oh five or two Oh three, two Oh seven. I think it was. So now we're even a week into that. We're into like two fourteen now. It's ridiculous. Hopefully we get something soon because if we don't, you know, I don't know. Hopefully this game doesn't just completely die and we just don't get we just don't get drip feed content every day for the next year until no one keeps playing it. We gotta get something, Rockstar. Let us know. Hit us down in the comments if you guys are still playing the game, excited for something that might come down the road, or if you just moved on to something else. We'll be playing Ghost of Tsushima this week, of course, that drops. We're having some great content on the game on that. Of course, we always still do have our weekly streams with our community on Wednesdays. So that is tomorrow. Make sure you guys are checking for that. We're getting super close to 14,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this video and you haven't hit that subscribe button, help out the channel right now. Hit that subscribe button. You guys are awesome. Hope to see you on the parade sometime. But until then, see you later.